All right, I'm Bobby Garner from BobbyGarner.com. And in the last 30 minutes, I've been notified by several friends they've been thrown in Facebook jail. So right now, what I've done is stop everything I'm doing. I'm not answering question on question and answer sites. I'm not blogging. I'm not doing anything else. I am going to address what's going on with Facebook. First off, let's understand. A lot of people like to think of Facebook as a social media platform. They are not. They are all about profit. They are a business. And when you register yourself and they know you're a business and then you share, they get a little upset about that. So what's going on is Facebook wants you to pay for advertising. When you go and post in the Facebook groups by yourself, they get a little upset about it and they will block you unless you pay for the advertising price. But there's good news. I know a couple of ways around it. I'm going to share it with you in your five minute marketing tip of the day. All right, I'm fixing to share my screen. I'll be able to show you what I do to stay out of Facebook jail. All right, now I'm just going to take a look at a post here that I've been working on that I posted on my Facebook fan page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the post and then I'll go over to my main homepage. And you know, you'll go to groups usually and you'll get a list of your groups. Now I'm a administrator in several. I got a bunch of favorites, but here's one right here. Let's take a look. Working home moms. We're going to go to working home moms and we have a choice here. We can start a discussion or sell something. And so I'm going to paste my ad and then I'll add the picture. For every hundred people you follow, you'll get 30 back. And I'll add who wants to know how and i'll post it well i'm gonna copy it first so i don't have to keep doing it all right now i just posted that now i can go back to my groups scroll down and i'll find me another good group to put it in say parents working from home so i'll open that up in a new tab we're just gonna po paste it in there and this is what gets you put in facebook jail all right, there it is. I'm just going to find the picture real quick. Oh, there it is. Now, when you're posting in groups using the groups page, Facebook Allograms pick that up. They know when you come to this page over and over and over again. So the first tip will be uh, working on moms, click on it, open in a new tab, and do it that way. All right. The second tip and the most important tip of them all will be to just go to your fan page and post your ad. Once it's done, you just say, okay, post it. Now you come to share. And when you click share, is public, share, or send in a message. You want to share it. Not on your own timeline. You come down to enter group and you just use the alphabet A, advertise your home business training group and post your ad. Share, enter group, advertise your home business opportunity. Share, paste. And now I've done this just a little while ago as an experiment when people was having so much trouble. Posted this ad real quick. In one year, 97% of home of people who have a dream of their own their own business will fail. And here's my link. Twice, share in a group. Uh, F, Facebook marketing for newbies, great. All right, and post. Now I've shared it to 22 groups. I'm gonna copy that real quick. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna share it to a group. F, there seem to be a lot of them work from home. Let's do that one. And I'm gonna paste it with my link. And there it goes again. Now, in the last 15 minutes, I've reached 85 people doing it this way, and I've only shared it 21 times at that point. So that's pretty good statistics. There are other ways to promote yourself in your business besides Facebook. Five people, 23 shares, and I haven't been blocked yet. But I also am a member of a, a site called TSU.co. 
and you check the link down below you can click on it and join this group you have a, a page it's just like Facebook just like except for the fact you get paid uh, your message is there and every time they're shared commented or liked you get paid for it and I've got a couple of groups here that I post to and so I shoot over there as part of my everyday strategy I'll post a, a shares comments and likes also you can go to inbound.org, search for whatever topic you're looking for, and somebody's asking a question concerning it, and you can answer their question, and you'll get traffic to your blog or to your offer. Last is, for example, I punched in Facebook jail because that was what was going on right now. So if you'll notice this question, what is Facebook jail? What is the procedure for Facebook jail? I will click on that link person has asked for that answer so I would click right there and I would answer their question what is Facebook jail and what's the procedure for it I would answer it give them a link to my blog give them a link to my uh, site follow me from there so there you go all right Facebook jail is established to make entrepreneurs such as yourself for advertisement they change it every day it could be seven today, it could be 12 tomorrow, it could be 100 the next day. They're going to block you because they want you to pay for ad revenue. But if you promote it from your fan page, you're pretty much safe. I just did it 25 times and they never told me nothing, but I would stop there. I would stop at 20, wait a couple hours, do it again, just some more groups or whatever the case may be and generate leads and make my sales online. Also, I use question and answer websites such as Yahoo Answers, Quora, Inbound.org, where people are wondering how they can do certain things, and I help them out and I establish my authority online. So I'm Bubba Gunner from BubbaGunner.com, and that's how you can avoid Facebook jail.